Hey gang, Kai here with you from XBED, and today I want to talk to you about R value. Now, R value is a measure of an insulation's efficiency. Um, in more specific terms, it's its ability to stop the transfer of heat moving through it. And R value is simply the measure of that. But before we can get into the to, the, to, to R value, really, we have to talk about the basics. Heat and this idea of you feeling warm or feeling cold. Now, I like to use an analogy um, that works for me. When I get in my car early in the morning, a winter day like we have outside right now, and I've got my warm hands, I'd put them on a cold steering wheel. Now, what's happening there is I have heat in my hand, the steering wheel lacks that heat or has less heat than my hands. And physics will tell us that uh, the universe wants those things to be equal. So it's, the, the heat is going to be transferred to that cold thing and try to equal it out. Now, the key here is put on a pair of gloves to mitigate that heat transfer. Stop that heat from being transferred to the steering wheel. Another analogy that works really well for me, and I guess is more specific to this idea of sleeping warm and being comfortable in the outdoors, is the earth is giant. It is a massive, relatively cold thing. And it wants your heat, and it is going to get it, unless you do something to, to stop the heat transfer. So you're this tiny little warm feeling human, and the earth is giant. So a, a sleeping mat with insulation in it can help mitigate all that. So those are the basics of, of heat and you feeling either warm or feeling cold. Okay, so we've talked about heat and we've talked about you feeling warm or you feeling cold. But let's talk now about R value itself. There's a pretty complicated formula uh, that um, allows us to come up with the R value number that we work with. I am not qualified to recite that for you. Um, but suffice it to say that we end up with a number when we test our sleeping mats, or any insulation for that matter, the insulation in, in, your, in the roof of your house, you're, you, you come up with a number that is the measurement of uh, an insulation's resistance to heat transfer. R, resistance, pretty cool. So what you end up with, if you put more insulation in a sleeping mat, you have greater resistance to heat transfer, and therefore you're retaining more of your heat. You're not giving it up to the giant earth. So when we test and we come up with an R value for our sleeping mats, we end up with a range because we have a range of, of sleeping mats. And the question arises, well, why would you want an, a, a mat with less insulation in it uh, when you could have a ton of insulation in it? Well, uh, bear in mind that you might be going to the tropics and you might not have a need to retain all the heat. You might actually want heat to, to, to be pulled away from you. The other thing is that when we put insulation into a sleeping mat, it's a little heavier, it's a little bulkier, and insulation is a little costlier. So if you don't need the insulation, don't buy it. Don't, you know, don't bring it with you, don't carry it. But if you're going to the Arctic and you need to retain it, every bit of heat that you have and not transfer that to the ice below, then get as much insulation as you can possibly get. So we have a range of mats from 0.7 R value all the way to 9.5. Think of it as zero to 10 if you want to make it simpler. And uh, that will allow you to be comfortable wherever you go and, um, and, it, and it works beautifully out in the real world where you're fighting that giant earth. 
Okay, so we've talked about our value. So now the question is, how do we come up with that number? Well, we don't come up with that number. Being a Swiss company, we pride ourselves on precision, accuracy. And so just kind of spitballing it and just saying, well, this ought to do, that kind of thing isn't going to work uh, here at XBED. So what we do and have done for the last 15 or so years is when we come up with a new mat, when we build a new mat, we send it to an independent, accredited testing lab. They do the test. They send us the R value number for that mat. And that is what you will see published on our website. That's what you'll see on the hang tag when you buy your sleeping mat. And so why is that important, all of the above? Well, it's, it's really tempting when you have marketing people and you have salespeople involved, it's very tempting to, well, to have the following thing happen. You get back from your testing lab a number that says, oh, this mat is 4.9. Well, any marketing person will tell you that they are very tempted to say, well, 4.9 would be a lot less appealing than a 5. So let's just call it a 5 and no one will know. And that happens, but not at XBED. So we have been a leader in mat technology for a long time. Since we first started making mats more than 15 years ago, we've been a leader in the technology and we introduced our value to the outdoor industry, to the, the mat manufacturing process. And it's been very important and it's been adopted by all kinds of folks. But what's lacking in the outdoor industry is, a, um, is the implementation of, of a standard so that everybody's doing the same test and everybody's publishing that number. So as a leader in, in, in mats, we have also been a leader in, in pushing that idea and making that a reality. It's already happening in Europe and soon to come to North American manufacturers. So that's the story of our value. And I am going to hit the books and I'm going to study that equation. So the next time I'm talking to you about our value, I can just ramble, rattle that thing off to you. All right, we'll see you out there. Thanks a lot.